Welcome to another video. Today we are going to look into how we can add our own custom icons to the plugin we are developing. So I've already made a video that shows you how you can get started with developing your own plugin. So let's jump into how we can actually add our own custom icons to the plugin and load them onto a key and maybe even change the icon based on a key press. So now we have that our setup here. So we have our demo plugin which is an increment counter and I've installed it here and we have, it's called the demo plugin and we can drag our action, which is called counter action to a key. And you can see it has the default icon and I can press it and it will increment. What we did in the last video was that we increased the increment to two. So I'll just do this by copy pasting, saving it, and then it will restart the plugin. And when I now press it, it will increase by two. So pretty cool. Now let's change the icon that appears per default on the action as soon as I drag it from the action sidebar to the canvas. And for that, I need to jump into the plugin folder, which yeah. we find here. And in here, you will find an image folder. And in this one, per default, you will find actions. And I've created a demo plugin folder here and added a few icons here and we will use the start icon as our new default icon. And to switch this up, I need to jump into my manifest. And this is the backbone of my plugin describing to Stream Deck what actions we have available in the plugin. And so we need to locate our increment um, action. Because we change it, that it will actually increase by always two, we can rename it as well. And now we need to update this path to actions, demo, start, underscore 96. Don't add the .png or JPEG or whatever you're using here because it's not required. And it will actually, if you do, not work. Um, so all we need to do now is trigger the hot reload and we can do that by jumping into our TypeScript and just changing something, saving, and this will trigger the hot reload and we should see an update in the icon and we did. So you can see the icon updated and we also changed the title of the action, which you can also see in the action sidebar here in Stream Deck. So there you go. Now that we know how we can update the default icon that appears as soon as I drag the action onto the canvas, Let's look into how we can update the icon as soon as I press a key. But before we look into how we can update our um, action, let's quickly go through the class that is actually responsible for doing that. And that is, in this case, our increment counter, which we linked with this UUID to the action that we see in Stream Deck. And you will have different um, events that will be triggered as soon as your action, for example, appears on the canvas, and that is on will appear. This, so this means as soon as you switch to a page or profile where your action you defined is visible, this will trigger. And then we have the action that is where the name is already telling what it's happening. As soon as you press the key, and here it's as soon as you press down, not releasing the key, this event will be triggered. And this is the one we will also use to update the image. So let's do that now. Okay, so now to update the icon, we need to talk to the action instance. And we are getting that instance with the event that is being triggered, and that is the uh, key down event. So we can use that event to say image. And now we need to give it the path to the image. And we can say that we are executing from within our plugins folder and therefore we don't need to give it the absolute path but the relative path. And that is emg's dot, dot act, uh, actions dot demo dot, and we're going to give it the pause icon. And here it's important that we actually add the file type to it because you could upload different things. And now let's save this and restart the plugin. And as soon as I now hit the key, it should update and it does. So that's pretty cool. Now you know how to update the icon of your actions from the plugin you're developing. 
If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and help me out making further videos like this. Be sure there will be a few more coming, all related to the SDK. So stay tuned.